Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is part two of our video series. Um, basically, we are picking up from where we left off um, last week. Um, just to recap, I will stop the application. I will run it. And where we left off in part one was we created this header with this image with Chevron, and we had this bottom image or larger image here. And uh, basically, that's where we left off last time. Um, today, our objective is basically when we click on this button, we want to get a bottom sheet getting presented. And we will start to populate what the bottom sheet has. Hopefully, we should get to have the list being populated. Um, so without further ado, let's keep going. If you want to follow along um, and run the project, the link will be in the video. Okay, awesome. Let's get going. So the first thing we want to do is right now in our content view, we have hard-coded values. So for example, here we have a Swift, a Swift image. We have Mario. Um, if I was to change this to say Swift here, um, and let's just go ahead and run the preview. So we're not running the app all the time. Um, we'll see that the text is also going to render Swift, right? Right here, okay? So if I also change that back to Mario, I will have Mario rendered in the header. Now in the assets folder, I went ahead and added more images here. Again, feel free to add whatever images you want, but right now those are the images. If you were to clone the project, those are the images you will get with the project. Um, so the images here, the names will just be matching the names with our object types. If you recall from last week, we said we'll create some sort of object. That way we're not hard coding um, the, the names here, right? All right, so in order to get that to work, we will create a new file. We'll create a new file, it's a Swift file. We'll go next here and we will name it profile. And what does a profile have? Well, a profile is a struct. And here we have a profile. And basically we will have a name which is a string. And we will have an image, which is also a string, okay? So for example, our name will be like Swift and our image will be from the assets folder, whatever image we are looking for. So in a, our assets folder, if we look at uh, Swift, we have Swift, we have Swift UI, we have Wakanda, we have Super Mario Bros. movie, and JavaScript, and you have the rabbit. So those are the objects we'll be creating from this particular profile here. Now, I will go ahead and just create some sort of static object. Um, We'll say static, we'll say var, we'll make it data. And it's going to return, uh, what is it gonna return? Well, it's gonna return an array of profile. Sorry. Okay. And this profile will go ahead and will return an array of profiles. For example, we'll say init, init here. And we will have uh, Swift. And we'll have our Swift image. 
this is one. Let's just go ahead and create a few more. I'll just copy this. Okay, so we have Swift, we have Mario, we have JavaScript, we have Wakanda. Okay, and I think our Wakanda is just Wakanda, the name of the asset. Our JavaScript should just be JavaScript here. Um, I think it's JavaScript with an S like that. Let's just keep those consistent. Actually, I think it's lowercase. Let's just verify. Okay, cool, it's lowercase. And we have Mario. This one is super. Mario Bros movie. Uh, how many more images we have? We'll just go one more. We are in the of the rabbit. So here we'll give it a name of year of the rabbit. Like that, and we could look for some sort of emoji. Here, I'll just say rabbit like that. This in here. And we could probably get a lunar calendar like that. Cool. All right. And then this image name is year of the rabbit like that. All right, I think we are looking good here. We'll see if we have any uh, issues when once we render this array. But for now, we have access to um, creating profiles or just getting a blob of mock data. So we'll just go profile that data, or we could just call this mock data, whatever we want to do. But that's fine for now. Um, we will, let's see how we want to test this. Actually, we could test this now, if we go to the content view, and I could create, let's see here, I could create, say, uh, let's just say data, and then we'll say profile. Uh, Actually, we just want one object for now. So we'll just say profile like that. And we will say profile uh, dot data. And we will say, get us the first object in that array. OK. And here we have our profile. Let me just have an extra space here. Um, so now we have access to this like profile. We hard coded this like first object. And if we go into our array here, the first object is Swift. For, so for example, if we want to get to Wakanda, so this is one, two, three, I will just access array at index three. And for now, we just hard coding those values. So instead of saying Swift here, I would say profile dot image. Um, for the text here, I would say text. I would say profile dot name. Okay. And let's see what we have on screen. We probably also want to say profile that name here too, but let's see what we have in our preview. Preview seems to be taking a while to render. Okay. 
let's just go and I will say image profile. Dot image. Sorry. Okay. Um, let me show some things down here. Okay. So as we could see, we have our image, we have um, our bottom image, and all that's coming from this particular profile here. Just because we hard coded this value, if I was to go to say, show me what the second profile looks like, give the preview some time. is being very slow today. Okay, so here we have our Mario image. All right, cool. So let us keep going. Our profile object works. We have the ability to render our data um, array. Um, let's go ahead and uh, create a list, right? Um, so let's see the best way to do this. We will... Let's create a new file. And it's going to be a Swift UI file. And we will call this profile list. Okay, so we will create, what do we want to create? We're going to create a list of profiles. Um, again, we have access to our data array, so we'll be able to use that. Um, and let us, actually, we have our list here. Um, let's come back. Actually, let's just render a list. Um, so for each, and what's our array? Our array is profile dot data and ID. We'll just say self here, and our closure expects the item. And we will just use the text element and we will say our item really is a profile, right? And our text will just render the name of that profile. Okay, let's see what's our error here. Um, so it's saying that profile needs to conform to hashable, right? In order for this for each to work, the objects needs to or the object needs to conform to hashable so that you know it 
renders correctly um, as it's needed. So we'll go back to profile and we will make profile conform to the hashable protocol. Okay, we'll go back to our profile list and our error goes away. Our preview is trying to render. Okay, now, as we can see, we have many profile lists. Like if I click on this one, I will see, I'll see Mario. That's not what we want, right? So we want everything to be in the list. So for now, I will say list, and I'll end this list like that. Okay. All right, this is what we want. So now we could render our list of profiles. Um, and as you can see, they're in order. Great, we have our names, awesome. We don't have the images yet, that's fine. But we have our list, we have our profile list. Um, and we could actually, uh, let's see what we're gonna do here. We'll create like a, a component for the actual profile object with very similar to what we have here. Um, we'll have the image and we'll have the, the name or something like that or maybe have the image first and yeah, we could render this the way we want it to be. Um, in the completed project, what do we have? Let's see. In the completed project for this, we have, if I was to click on this bottom image, right? We have this like radio button here. We have, so we could create like a component to capture this that way. Um, Oh. All right, so we have our list. Let me go ahead and create, what are we gonna call this? Like a profile view. Um, so new file and the Swift, Swift UI view. And here we'll call this profile view profile card, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so we have our profile view. What does our profile view need? Our profile view needs a profile, right? Our profile view needs a profile. So let's go profile is a profile, right? So whoever is instantiating this profile view needs to pass in a profile. Um, and for now, we will simply have profile.name. And in our preview, we need to pass in a profile as well. So here I'll say profile dot data and just grab the first um, profile. So we should see Swift. I think Swift was the first one. Yep, so Swift is the first one in our array, okay? So looking at what we want to somewhat build here, if I was to run the app again, what do we want to get to? We want to get to an image, we want to get to the name and some sort of radio, but that looks like an H stack we have here. We have the name, which is a good start. 
um, let us embed this into an H stack. So first we need the image, which is image. And the name of the image is profile dot image. And we should be getting our image coming up. Again, this image is a bigger image. So we need to resize it. And we need to change the aspect ratio on it. Here I'll say fit. And we'll give it a frame. Let's see, maybe 40. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, and we could, for now, just say quarter radius. If you want to make it round up to you, how you want to render this. Um, corner radius, if you want it to be circular, make it half of 40, which is 20. And here we will have our circular image. And now we want to have this also sort of like radio button. Um, for now, we'll default it to just like a circle. So we need a circle here. For now, we'll just say circle. And we will say foreground color gray. We could change this later, but for now, we just want to render some sort of circle. Circle is too big. Um, we will make it the same width as our image for now, or even smaller, actually. Let's make it 30. Okay, and we'll use a spacer to somewhat shift this width to the left. So we'll put that spacer right after our text here. That, and I should shift the image and the text to the left. And, um, okay, cool. And now we'll give the entire H stack some padding, some horizontal padding. Um, that, we'll say a padding. And we'll say horizontal padding. And let's see what 20 looks like. Oh, good, good, good. All right. Um, oh, let's see. One second. Let me take a look at SF symbols and see what we could get for where is my SF symbols? Okay. Having some computer issues today, but that's fine. We all do. Um let's look for Circle. Okay, just circle and then circle fill, right? And then circle, circle. Um, cool. So for now, I think we just do circle as an SF symbol. So back in here, we'll change this to image. Uh, system image, and we will make this circle, and we'll grab those two, 
put them here. I think the foreground is still fine. Um, okay, cool. So that's what we have here. Awesome. So we are looking good with our profile view for now. There's more to do um, as far as like when you click on this, you want to render it as like a fill radio button. But for now, we'll render all our list items with the image and this like default circle. So go back to our profile list. And right now, our view is just a text that renders the name of the profile. So we'll update this. Let's see, do we have enough data? Yes, we do. Um, we will replace this text with the profile view, which expects a profile. We do have a profile, so it has a profile. And now we should see our updated profile view rendered here. Cool. Um, awesome. Let's see. Going back to our profile, we have aspect fit here. Let me see. I think we'll come. To, let me test. Let's test profile view. Let's test three. Make sure that renders correctly the way we want. Okay. Let's see, one more thing, sorry. Um, okay, cool. So going back to our, where are we? We have our profile list, everything is being rendered the way we want it to be. Um, Okay, let me run, actually not yet. Let's go to profile, the profile, let's go to content view. In our content view, let me actually run this because I'm seeing a different rendering from what I'm expecting. It may just be the aspect of my Mac. But I just want to run the app to see. OK. Anything else that's coming weird on your end, feel free to modify it. Um, but for now, we'll keep going. And if I need to update anything, I'll update it in the subsequent video. Um, okay. Because uh, right now, the rendering I'm seeing is different from the rendering I'm expecting as far as the circular image. But that may just be my aspect on my particular Mac right now. Um, let us keep going to our, we are where we want to be. So. When I click on this, I want to render a bottom sheet for now. Where are we? This image here in this H stack, I will add a tab gesture on it. On tab gesture. I thought we did have that already. Sorry. Yeah, we have that right here. I don't want to tap this image. I want to tap the shape of image. I want to tap this image. And we have this already here. Um, so basically, let's create a state object. And this state object will be the source of truth when I tap on this button, what happens. Um, we'll call this is bottom sheet presented. Is going to be starting off with a default of false. And when I click on the when I click on this image, I want to toggle 
So is bottom sheet presented toggle? All right. What next? On my V stack, I want to add a sheet is presented, which expects a binding. I do have a binding. The binding is is bottom sheet presented. And the closure will be whatever we want to render as far as our view is concerned. Um, this is a binding, so it expects the dollar sign. Without the dollar sign, it's just a value. Like here, that's just a value. But here, that's the actual binding, right? How do you want to change this view? Um, when I click on, actually, let's test this. So we removed our print statement earlier, but for now we could put a print statement here and we could say something like um, bottom feet presented. And if I run the app, And not conform to view. Yeah, because this expects a view here, sorry. Um, let us actually our bottom sheet. Let's do let's, let's just do profile, profile list. Okay. Our profile list, that will be what's presented. Now, let me run the app again. Actually, I didn't need to run the app. I can just do it in the preview. Uh, preview, preview, preview. Preview is taking a while again today. Machine is a bit slower, but we have to go on. I failed to launch. Looks like we have an error somewhere. Let me run the app and actually see where's the error coming from. If we do have an error, or if it's just a preview bug, um, our app looks to be running. So let's see. Is presented profile. Okay, so if I click on my Chevron button, look at that. We have a sheet being presented, um, right? But it's not interactive. Like I can't bring it down here without it just disappearing, right? Um, so this is not exactly what we want, right? Um, let me, do we still use this profile? It's still hard coded, right? Um, still hard coded, which is okay. Let's see, why isn't our, why isn't our preview being rendered? It's rendering now. Okay, as expected. Again, bugs happen everywhere. Um, okay, so we have our sheet being presented, but we don't want it to be, currently it's been presented modally, like full model, right? We want it to be presented based, like we can make it half, we can make it three quarter, we can make it full. So I'll keep this for now like that. And then I will go ahead and add profile list again. And this time we want the presentation to be like a bottom sheet, right? So this pre uh, presentation detents here sets the available details for the enclosing sheet. So basically it will tell the sheet how to be 
um, rendered, right? Whether you should be full, half, or some sort of fraction. Um, it expects a set. So we'll go ahead and use presentation details like that. And it expects some sort of array. Um, what does it expect? Well, there's large, there's medium, and there's fraction, right? So if we start off with medium, so we'll give it like an array of, of heights. Um, actually, let's start off with a fraction. Fraction expects some sort of float. We'll say 0 0.3. Again, we could change those numbers. Um, and then we will go medium, and then we will go large. Okay, so it's gonna start off with uh, three quarters, or not three quarters, but one third, then go to medium, then go to large. Um, let us see well, how that renders, right? So run the application. Again, I could have done that in the preview. So click on our Chevron button. We render a third, as we see here. We could even make it lower, like we could probably have it like 0.2. Um, but for now, we have a third. If I drag it up, I have medium. If I drag it up, I have large. If I drag it down, I have medium. If I drag it down again, I have the fraction. And if I drag it down, then it disappears. Um, we could do the same thing in the preview. Um, if I click on our Chevron icon, it starts off with a third. Now we could change this. Again, it's up to you how you want to start off your bottom sheet. But basically, we could start off whatever fractional value we want. Um, Whenever preview loads up, if I click on now here, you see it starts even lower. Um, if you really want to get crazy, let's see what one looks like. Um, let me, okay, <laughs> one is really, okay. And we could go medium, if I drag it up, and then drag it up again, and drag it down. Now, we will pretty much wrap up here for today. But um, again, I'm seeing those being rendered differently from what I was expecting, but it could be just like the aspect ratio of my map right now. Um, but we'll come back on that if it's different. Um, so what we wanna do next time we meet, which is most probably the last part of the video, we will, maybe the last part of the video, um, we'll click on any of those, um, radio buttons. And once we click on it, it will dismiss the view or the bottom sheet and it will render whatever we selected here. Okay. Um, actually, let's make this this three that we had before. Um, cool. So if I click on Wakanda, it's going to render Wakanda and dismiss the sheet. If I click on um, you have the rabbit, it's going to dismiss the sheet as well. And if you observe, like when you click on this like handle bar here, this top handle bar, it's going to actually propagate whatever the next iteration of our presentation details are. So if I click on it, it will go down to uh, this like uh, third here. If I click on it, it goes up to medium. If I click on it again, so you could drag or you could just tap on this uh, handle here. Um, cool. All right. Uh, so again, the next part of the video should take us to um, getting closer to completing this video, if anything. Um, where we want to get to next time, it starts off with the default selected, whatever the default is. And if I click on Mario, it will just show Mario. So you could actually go ahead and do this as an exercise um, and just complete the video, or 
You could wait till we come back next week. I'm trying to do those every week until we finish. So hopefully like next week, the next video will come out where we get closer to, to wrapping up the video, okay? If you have any comments, questions, or anything that could be better, feel free to comment in the video below. Um, and we will catch you next time. Okay, let's fix this image because it's definitely rendering um, incorrectly. Uh, let's do frame. Let's also give this a height of 40 here. And now I'm looking at the header and let's actually go ahead and fill its contents. So it just takes the whole circle. Now we have our circle here rendering correctly. So that fixes the header image. And let's see what the list looks like. If you could see the Mario is not being uh, rendered um, fully circular. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually go to our profile list. Not our profile list, our profile view. And let's see what's going on. So Mario is one, two. This is also a good one to test. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a height of 40. And let us also fill its contents. OK, now we have our circle. Um, looks good here. And let's see what the list looks like. And we have all our profile images being rendered correctly as we expect. Um, and so basically the change was we made our frame circular and then we filled its contents. And uh, that was it, both for the profile view. And if we go back to the content view, for the content view as well. Okay, so those were the changes here. Uh, cool. All right, catch you in the next video. And what we have is just our list. So this is where we end in today. And when we pick up again, we will be able to tap on any of those buttons and have the image rendered in uh, its parent view here. Okay, thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.